Hey, good morning, guys. We are out back on the road. And I have some bad news. Some good news. Uh, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is my Garmin reset itself. And so I lost the ride from the previous day, the data. And not only that, I've lost the total distance. Uh, we were up to like 1,800 kilometers. Anyway, it's reset. And we're now back to 2.5 kilometers. Oh well. Uh, but I know that uh, I can get this information on my Strava total distance so far. So I will tell you that later. Uh, once I finish today's ride. Uh, today, I'm heading to Babinda. Apparently it's quite nice up there. It's a free campsite. And then the next day, it's something like less than 70 k's to get. So I would have completed my first leg of this trip. Or maybe the only leg of this trip, I don't know yet. We'll discover it as I get there. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Starting pretty late today. Temperature's 25.2 degrees. Time is six, oh, oh, that's not right. Time's 10 o'clock, roughly around that. So yeah, late start. I uh, had a day off yesterday. I stayed at the Mission Beach Youth Hostel. It was really nice, really chill. I got a swimming pool. I was walking up and down the beach. I had a friend who I met in Noosa Heads uh, head down this way from Cairns, actually. So we met up and had a chat. It was good. So good to see you, Sarah. Uh, she's heading down south to start a new job. I'm heading north to go see Cairns. So yeah, it was fun times but I really needed that rest day. And yesterday as well was a terrible, terrible head windy day. So I'm quite thankful I didn't ride. It's supposed to be today, Tailwind. Yeah, it doesn't feel too bad at the moment. So yeah, we're, li we're leaving Miss Mission Beach, going to Babinda. It's sunny right now, it's quite warm. And I've had a good couple of nights sleep, so I feel well rested. Uh, any other information? I can't think of anything else right now. Uh, but I will show you what I can currently see at the moment. I think it'll be another picturesque ride. The last ride was awesome, loved it so much. Just uh, very scenic. So, yep, that's it for now. Uh, I'll chat to you as I'm going along. Bye. Just leaving Innisfail. I quickly stopped off there to have a, a Domino's pizza special. Yum yum yum. And now I have a tailwind as I go west. So this feels really really nice. The ride so far has been good, it's been fast, it's undulating. And in fact we've reached the highest temperature so far whilst on this tour. 37.2 degrees. So yeah, it's a hot one today. I've got about 28 kilometers until I reach my destination. Babinda. Rest area. So I'm looking forward to that. 
and then uh, well hopefully I'll show you something else today something special uh, or maybe tomorrow morning we'll see uh, so yeah so far I've done 55.3 kilometers it's taken me two hours 14 minutes uh, 24.7 average so yeah feeling good feeling really really good so I was not having a headwind so yeah that's uh, all I I have to report at the moment. But yeah, it's pretty picturesque here. Very green, very sunny. And and right now we have a really long cycle path uh, all the way up to Pivinda. Actually, it doesn't quite reach there, but yeah, I mean, it's nice to have a lane like this. We're heading towards those mountains. It's a bit smoky today. I guess they're doing burn off after uh, harvesting the fields. It's a common thing. But look how lush green it is. Cairns, 84 kilometers. I've been to 25, there we go. Ah, I feel good today. All right, that's it for now, guys. That's it for now. Where's banana trees? changed the direction a bit of headwind now oh no okay i'll talk to you later bye all right guys so we've arrived at bibinda rotary rest area tent is up and we are going for a wonder i'm just going to show you the creek this is pretty much uh, where i'm staying tonight I see some people with tents. I see there's a cycle forest. I'll go introduce myself later. Um, but look at this. Look at this. But there's something better down the road. I'll show you. Got to ride further. Four kilometers, four or five kilometers. But holy cow. Look at that. Oh, but it gets better. Look at the other side. Oh my. Look how clear that water is. All right, let me just turn around. So this is a really beautiful area. Stunning. Stunning. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna take some pictures and then ride to the next place. Haha. -ha. I might show you something else as well. That's it for now, bye. So this is Babinda High Street at its best. And I think where I want to go is this way. But, uh, yeah. Binda Tavern. That's cool. This is a really nice, picturesque, old town feel. Anyway, let's keep going. The best is yet to come, if it's this way. I have a little story to tell on the way back as well. We're on the way to this, uh, place that I'm going, Anzac Park. Plenty of Anzac Parks in Australia. Okay, that's it for now. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Wow. A bin of boulders, baby. And it is great. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I gotta get in. Oh, oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, it's good. Oh, yes. Oh. 38 degrees today, riding. 
<gasps> Finishing off with a chili dip. Oh mate, this is so good. <laughs> that was well worth the uh, six kilometre ride from the campground to get here. Let's have a bit of a swim. Bit of submerge. Shit, that's deep. I couldn't touch the ground there. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, guys, that's uh, ciao for now. I'm gonna have a bit of a swim and enjoy this. Oh, it's so good. Alright, see you later. Bye. As I climb up the hill, I'll tell you a little bit of a story. So I met a guy in Innisfail, and apparently uh, he's the father of a son who's a world famous triathlete who lives in this town. I forgot his name, I'm really sorry about that. I'll uh, find out and I'll put it in, uh, in the uh, well, I'll add some sub, uh, subs, subtitles. Uh, anyway, uh, he was telling me um, that if you, he was telling me the story, the cast of uh, Babinda Boulders. So about many, many years ago, there was a hundred guys or something who kidnapped a girl from uh, Wongaling Bay. Uh, well, they kidnapped her here, They're in Babinda Boulder, and she's from Wongaling Bay, the place that I just came from, actually. And uh, once she got kidnapped, she put a curse on that area. And I might be telling the story wrong, but this is what I heard according to this guy and he was saying that uh, the curse is that if you're single and you dip into this river then 25 guys a year will die so yeah don't jump in there if you're single otherwise you'll be cursed 25 guys a year will be cursed and will die so, yeah and uh, I just want to show you the the ride. It's pretty hilly to get to Babinda Boulders actually, but it's super nice nonetheless. I'm absolutely soaked right now because that dip in the water was so refreshing. Extremely refreshing. I love this so much. Wow, look at that view. I hope you're enjoying the footage today. As much as I've enjoyed this ride, I definitely recommend riding this route from uh, where I started today to get here. It's, it's been fantastic. And I'm looking forward to uh, heading towards Cairns tomorrow as well. No doubt it will be lush green just like this.